Okay, I'm going to show you basic switch configuration. Okay, so we are simply going to get a switch device on a working area and try to do some basic configurations. So um, here we are going to simply get uh, the switch device. You go to network devices. They are listed here, but our interest is on the switches. So you select switches, then you pick the first switch, which is 2160. You pick that, then you drop it on the on your working area, then you double click on it, then a window, uh, the switch interface opens up this one, where you uh, go to the command line interface. This is where we are going to do our different configurations on the device. So you see here it says press return to get started. So you press enter on your keyboard. After you press enter, uh, we are seeing switch, then the greater sign. That means we are in the user mode. Yeah, and in this mode, that's where you can view, only viewing the configurations of the device. Then we can go further and uh, go to the privilege mode by typing enable, uh, enable, then you press enter. So we are in the privilege mode, which is switch and a hash on it. That's the name of the device and a hash. Uh, then uh, from there, we have to go to the configuration terminal, okay, to the configuration terminal. In the privilege mode where we are at, we can do different configurations here and there, do changes to the device. Uh, but uh, for us to do the actual configurations, we have to go to the configuration terminal. So we are going to type configure terminal. Okay. Then uh, we are now in the configuration terminal, you see this message here says enter configuration commands, one per line. In case you have made an error, you can end with control Z. You can always press control Z to go back to the previous mode. So we are in the configuration mode. So the first basic configuration we need to do is change the name of the device from switch to bookstore. Yeah, assuming this switch belongs to a bookstore. So let us rename it to bookstore. So let's say host name bookstore. Book store. Okay, something like that. So you see, you observe that the name has changed from switch. Uh, the name of switch of the switch has changed from switch to to bookstore. So that's a, a task number one, basic configuration number one. Uh, basic configuration number two is um, creating a message or a banner message, or we call it message of the day. This message normally appears when someone is attempting to logging in into the switch, okay? So you can put a message there, uh, some instructions or uh, uh, some just welcoming message. So to configure that, you type banner message of the day, M O T D space. Uh, to indicate the beginning of the message, we can use any symbol. In this case, I will use um, um, at, okay, at, then I press enter then it's uh, asking me enter text message. So I put my message that I want to put. Uh, so I'll use some hashes there, some hashes, then press enter, space a little bit, then type my message only authorized, authorized users allowed. Okay, then I press enter, put some hash also. Press enter. So that's the end of my message. So I will, uh, because I began with at, to indicate the end of my message, I will also put at at the end. 
then press enter. So I've, uh, that is basic configuration number two, where we are creating the message of the day. Number three, we're going to configure password that will be requested every time you attempt to logging in into the switch. And this kind of password, we normally call it the line console uh, password. So you type line console zero, press enter, then password. Yeah, because it is a bookstore switch, we can say book store one, two, three. Okay, then we say login. That is, this password should be requested whenever we are logging in into the switch. Then uh, we are done. We can exit this interface to go back to the configuration mode. So we have configured the console password that will be requested every time we are logging in into the switch. So the password is bookstore, uh, bookstore, one, two, three, okay? Then the next thing we're going to do is configure password that will be requested when you're attempting to access the configuration terminal or the privilege mode, which contains all the configurations, okay? So uh, that one you do it by typing enable secret then the password which is bookstore one two three four yeah you see they are not the same this one is one two three this one is one two three four so that uh, they should be different enable secret bookstore one two three four you press enter so we have done with uh, this one normally by default it's encrypted but uh, this one is not encrypted but i'll show you how to encrypt that so now that we have finished uh, doing our basic configurations on our switch, let us go and see the configurations that we have done. There are four, okay? Uh, so we exit this interface to the privilege mode. Then in the privilege mode, you type show running config, show running configurations, okay? So you press enter, you'll be able to see uh, we typed here show running config building configuration it shows you the size of the configuration file the version then the configurations so the configuration number one was uh, uh, changing the name of the device to bookstore it's here then another configuration was enable secret password uh, in our case here we see that it is encrypted which is very good then the next thing we are going to look, we just press enter to go through the file to see the configurations. We did only four, so we shall observe only four here. Uh, the next one was uh, message of the day, it's here. Then uh, the next one, lastly, we had line console password. But there is a challenge. Uh, it is in plain text. People can see. So if someone fails on this file, this configuration file, they will be able to see the password. So we need to encrypt this uh, password. We need to encrypt this password. So we can go there back and um, into the configuration mode. Conf, you can also type in short form conf t. Yeah, press enter. It goes, it takes you to the configuration mode. Then here we, we, we want to encrypt that password. So you type service. Uh, password encryption, service password encryption. You press enter. Uh, we can exit. We go back to the privilege mode and uh, show running configurations. We press enter and go to that password and see if it has been encrypted. Yes, the line console password has been uh, encrypted successfully now. It's no longer in plain text. So that's how we do basic switch configuration. But we want to do one last thing.
yeah? Because if I close this interface and close this application and come back, I will not be able, uh, sorry, I will not be able to see my configurations. So because we have not saved them. So let's go ahead and save these configurations. For you to save, you type copy running configurations to startup configurations. You press enter, then you press enter twice. So our configurations have been saved successfully. So if now I go ahead and close this um, switch interface, if I close this switch interface um, and save this file, uh, let me save it on desktop and say basic switch configuration and uh, save it there. Uh, you find that if I close it, um, in the future, when I come back and open this file, I will find all my configurations. So that's how you do basic switch configurations. Thank you.